what's the best trading view buy sell indicator to use let's get started first head over to the indicator section in trading view and add the histogram atr sma indicator to your chart This indicator is quite handy as it creates histogram from the difference between the classical average true range or ATR and simple moving average SMA. The histogram will be green when it's above zero, indicating a positive difference, and red when it's below zero, indicating a negative difference. Now, to make the most out of this indicator, we need to tweak a few settings. Don't worry, it's simple. No need to change anything in the input section. The default parameters work just fine. Next, go to the style tab and disable the ATR and MA option since they're not needed for our purpose. Change the histo option to columns to make the histogram easier to read. Adjust the color from 0 to 1 to make them stand out more, helping you quickly identify the trend. Finally, uncheck the MA histo option as it's not necessary for analysis. Alright, now to complete the strategy, we need another indicator called MA Ribbon R2 by just Uncle L. You can easily add this one from the indicator section. But before doing anything else, let's make a few changes in the settings. The time frame of the indicator must be at least one time frame higher than the chart's time frame. Since we're using the 5 minute time frame, set the indicator to the 15 minute time frame. Set the MA type to EMA. Then change the fast MA length to 21. Next, go to the medium MA length and change it to 45. After that, head to the show color bars option and enable it. The rest should be disabled. Finally, go to the style tab to make the ribbon and lines more visible. The indicator plots a color coded ribbon between two moving averages. The color of the ribbon changes with the trend direction. The MA ribbon consists of three moving average lines a fast MA, a medium MA line, and a slow MA line. The space between the slow MA and fast MA lines is called the MA cloud or MA ribbon. When the price action is above the MA cloud, it indicates a bullish trend, meaning the market is generally moving upwards. Conversely, when the price action is below the MA cloud, it indicates a bearish trend, meaning the market is generally moving downward. To enter buy trade, first confirm that the market isn't an uptrend with the price action above the MA cloud. Wait for the price to pull back to the medium MA line. This pullback is a temporary decline in price with the overall uptrend. Once the price pull back to the medium MA line, wait for it to break above the MA cloud again. This break above the cloud is your buy signal. To confirm the buy signal, look for a green histogram bar above the zero level on your chosen indicator. This adds an extra layer of assurance that the price is likely to continue moving upwards.
for setting your stop loss, place it slightly below the recent market swing low or slightly below the medium MA line. This helps protect your trade from significant losses if the market moves against you. For take profit level, set it at one and a half times the risk. And to enter a sell trade, first confirm that the market is on a downtrend with the price action below the MA cloud. Wait for the price to pull back to the medium MA line. This pullback is a temporary rise in price with the overall downtrend. Once the price pulls back to the medium MA line, wait for it to break below the MA cloud again. This breaks below the cloud is your sell signal. To confirm the sell signal, look for a red histogram bar below the zero level or your chosen indicator. This adds an extra layer of assurance that the price is likely continue moving downward. And for setting a stop loss, place it slightly above the recent market swing high or slightly above the medium MA line. This helps protect your trade from the significant losses if the market moves against you. And for the take profit, just like the buy trade, set it one and a half times the risk. Alright, let's dive into some trading examples using the NASDAQ 100 chart on the 1 hour time frame. As you can see, the indicator isn't showing on the chart. To make it work, we need to adjust its settings. Remember, the indicator's time range must be at least one time frame higher. So, let's change the time frame to 240 minutes, which represents the 4 hour time frame. Now, the indicator works great on the chart. Alright, if you want to always have great confidence in trading even as a beginner, make sure to check out the recommended video on the screen. It will help you build a solid foundation and take your trading skills to the next level. Happy trading!